Some students are on edge at one local university. They say they're being racially targeted. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo is live in Laverne with reaction from frightened students. Christy? Yeah, they are frightened. Some of those students tell us just yesterday they were the target of some racist threats. Then this morning, one of the students named in those threats came out to her car here, which was unlocked, and she found smoke coming out of her backpack. Tonight, police are calling this incident suspicious. We don't feel comfortable talking openly about it because we still don't know who is attacking us. She doesn't want her face shown or her name used. And here's why. She says she and other student activists got racist and threatening messages like this one. So offensive, we can't air most of it. A day later, a smoldering backpack was found in one of their cars in a parking lot at the University of Laverne. And we haven't even heard from our school administration on what's going on. Police say they are now investigating whether the anonymous threats via social media and text are linked to the burning backpack. But the students on the receiving end don't think it's a coincidence. Pointing out whoever sent the messages wrote, we know where they live and what cars they drive. They believe the sender is trying to silence them because they've been calling out the university for not doing enough to combat racism on campus. We, we don't know who committed this act of, of hate. It is a hate, hate act that was committed and we don't know who did it, but it's obvious as to why things escalated this quickly. And the university needs to address this problem. The university canceled class Friday in response to what it calls the two reports of heinous acts and said in a statement in part, these actions are despicable and are an affront to our values as a university. This is a critical moment for us to declare that we will not tolerate this type of behavior. Tonight, the university president and provost issued a statement acknowledging they have had some shortcomings. They say next Friday they will cancel classes in the afternoon and hold diversity workshops and training. Live in Laverne, Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.